For many years, the Liverbird was the club's mascot. It was inspired by army uniforms and made its debut in the club around the turn of the century, when its image was engraved on championship medals given to players in 1901. The bird was put on the club flag for the first time in 1922, when it was made to honor the team's league wins. Its image has appeared on pre-match programs since 1935, and in the 1930s, it appeared on the training suits worn by players at Anfield Stadium. Meanwhile, let's go over how the Liverpool logo came to be, the symbolic meaning behind it, and its evolution. Before we continue, please click the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, remember to click the notification bell to be the first to know whenever we upload a new video. The name Liverpool refers to a grey British professional football club founded in 1892. Today, the team does well in the Premier League. Its home field is Anfield Stadium. According to the team's official logo history, the first Liverpool logo was a replica of the coat of arms of its home city, Liverpool. In 1955, the Liverpool logo was changed. The shape of the crest was taken out and replaced with an oval that goes up and down. The background was changed to white, and the red framing was balanced by the exquisite red image of the Liverbird and the sans serif text L. F. C. arched beneath it. In 1968, the emblem's oval frame was taken away, and the bird's shape was polished and made more modern. Some of the colors had been added, and the club had started to use a brighter shade of red, like scarlet red. Liverpool returned to a darker crimson and a more intricate emblem composition in 1987. In the current edition, a dramatic dark red silhouette of the bird is set atop a white triangular crest with a thin red edge. The crest featured two dark TED ribbons along its bottom sides, as well as white Liverpool text in the capital. The text football club was placed on a horizontal banner beneath the badge. In 1992, the club was celebrating its 100th anniversary, so a new logo was made and used for a year. The piece was bright and lively, with green and yellow decorations around the white triangular crest. The intricate green leaves were placed above a yellow horizontal banner with the club's motto, You'll Never Walk Alone on it, and the yellow ribbon with the 1892-1992 date mark in red was set under the crest. The main crest was a red horizontal banner with the words 100 years and Liverpool Football Club written in red. Above the banner was an image of the famous Liverbird. In 1993, the complicated logo from 1992 was cleaned up and redone with thinner lines that were easier to see. The 100 years component of the crest was eliminated, but all other aspects remained. Two stylized flame images in red, white, and black were placed on both sides of the crest. This badge was kept by the club for another six years. In 1999, the yellow elements on the Liverpool heraldic logo were replaced with green ones. Gradient colors were added to the picture to make the badge more interesting and show how the famous British club has grown and changed. The Liverbird was redesigned with white accents and began to resemble a real bird. The Liverpool logo from 1968 was brought back in 2012, but with some changes. The red Liverbird's features were sharpened and cleaned up, and the letters L. F, C were put in a straight line and made with a beautiful serif font. Two new FC Liverpool logos were launched in April 2017. They were developed to commemorate the team's anniversary during the 2017-2018 season. In actuality, things didn't change all that much because each of the important pieces remained in place. The entire shield resembles its predecessor, except for the dates 1892 and 2017, which appear from either side. The first date represents the year the club played its first game, while 2017 marks the club's 125th anniversary. Additionally, the text 125 years appears beneath the shield. The second form of the crest, which appears on the kits, is significantly simpler. There's only the bird, which appears remarkably identical to the main logo, only it's flat, and the text L, F, C. Liverpool won the league two years after returning to the first division in 1962. 
During Shankly's stay as manager, they won two more league titles in 1966 and 1973, two FA Cups in 1965 and 1974, and their first European trophy, the 1973 UEFA Cup. Shankly quit his job in 1974 because he wanted to take a vacation. He left his assistant, Bob Paisley, in charge of the club. On the part of club ownership, John Hooting, the owner of Anfield and the founder of Liverpool, was the club's first chairman, a post he held from the club's inception in 1892 until 1904. Following Hooting's resignation, John McKenna was appointed chairman. McKenna later became the Football League's president. On October 15, 2010, Liverpool was sold to Fenway Sports Group for £300 million. Liverpool has been regarded as a global brand, according to a 2010 report, the club's trademarks and associated intellectual property were valued at £141 million, a £5 million rise over the previous year. Liverpool received an AA brand rating. In April 2010, Forbes ranked Liverpool as the sixth most valuable football team in the world, after Manchester United, Real Madrid, Arsenal, Barcelona, and Bayern Munich. The club was worth $822 million without debt. Deloitte, the accounting firm, put Liverpool eighth in the Deloitte Football Money League, which ranks the world's football clubs based on income. Liverpool was a surprisingly steady squad under Paisley, winning six league crowns and three league cups in his nine years in command. Even in Europe, Liverpool was one of the best teams. Between 1976 and 1981, they won one UEFA Cup and three European Cups. After Paisley retired in 1983, his assistant Joe Fagan carried on the great tradition by leading the club to the Triple Crown in his first season in charge. Liverpool faced Juventus in the 1985 European Cup final. Unfortunately, that game is now known as the Haysel disaster because 39 people were killed when some rowdy fans caused a wall around the field to fall. Because the accident was caused by Liverpool fans alone, no English team was allowed to play in the next five European championships. In the absence of European games, Liverpool began to concentrate on domestic competitions. But tragedy struck again after winning two more league titles in 1986 and 1988, as well as an FA Cup in 1985. Only six minutes into the 1989 FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest, 94 spectators were killed in a crowd crush. Hillsborough remains the worst stadium disaster in English football history. Liverpool began a downward spiral after winning their seventh league title in 1990. During the 1990s and early 2000s, Liverpool's star seemed to fade, with only a few cup wins and some bad league finishes. Still, they proved their worth in the most exciting way possible. They beat Milan on penalties after being down 3-0 at halftime in the 2005 Champions League final. As it turned out, the club's swan song was this amazing victory. Over the next decade, Liverpool was primarily viewed as playing second fiddle to other English clubs, with only two cup wins and a second-place league result to show for their efforts. Now, let's examine the history of the bird on the Liverpool crest. The bird on the Liverpool crest is the liver bird, a mythical creature that also serves as the city's distinctive symbol. For nearly 800 years, the liver bird has been a symbol of Liverpool, and it features on the city's arms. The mythology and history of the liver bird date back to 1229, when King Henry III granted the residents of Liverpool the right to self-government through trade guilds. A one-of-a-kind seal was made with the liverbird on it so that documents could be trusted. The liverbird has become known as the city's symbol since the liver building was built in the center of Liverpool. A sculpture of a pair of female birds sits on top of the landmark building. People think that the two liverbirds are a male and a female. A local legend says that the female bird watches out at sea to make sure that seamen return safely to the city while the male bird watches over the seamen's families in the city. According to another myth, the birds face each other because if they mate and fly away, the city will be destroyed. Even though the liver bird is a big part of the Liverpool club crest, it was first used as a symbol by Everton.
In the 1930s, it was replaced by the Everton Lockup. Although the Liverpool bird was established as part of the official Liverpool badge in 1901, it was not used on the shirt until 1955. Liverpool uses the Liverbird design a lot in their club crest, merchandise, and souvenirs. In 2008, they tried to trademark the Liverbird to stop people from making fake kits. But the city council said the symbol belonged to the whole city, not just one club, so the application was taken back. Aside from being the city's official mascot, the Liverbird's symbolism lives on in popular culture through notable Liverpudlians. The Liverbirds were an all-female rock band in the 1960s, and Sir Paul McCartney, one of the Beatles' four members, has a crest with a Liverbird holding a guitar. Liverbirds of various shapes, sizes, and forms can be found all over Liverpool and beyond.